Welcome back to Giant Monster Games. My name is Adrian, and uh, today I need to get something off my chest. Something that is very near, very dear, something that's really important to me. I feel like uh, I've been living a bit of a lie uh, in the last, probably the last couple years here, actually. And I feel like it's time for me to come out, um, come out of the closet at least about this thing. And I want to say that as much as I say that I am an aggro or a mid-range player, I am definitely a closet combo player, 100%. I am not lying to you. To prove it, we are going to take the Soul Flare combo deck, and we are going to max it out and take it to a league to see how we do, because why not have some fun on the channel? Let's do it. So what exactly is the Soul Flayer deck, you might be asking? Well, there's a link up in the top right-hand corner up there. You can click that and see the entire budget deck deck. But for those that don't want to click that link, well, Soul Flayer is a card called Soul Flayer. Soul Flayer reads, Delve. Each card you exile from your graveyard while you cast this spell pays for one generic mana. It also reads, if a creature card with flying was exiled with Soul Flayer's delve ability, Soul Flayer has flying. The same is true for First Strike, Double Strike, Death Touch, Haste, Hexproof, Indestructible, Lifelink, Reach, Trample, and Vigilance. So if you haven't guessed what we're about to do, we're going to get a bunch of things into our graveyard. We're going to do that with Faithless Looting, Grisly Salvage, and a variety of other cards to dump cards into our graveyard. The cards we're going to be dumping by the way, are going to be Zetapala, the Primal Dawn, Pterodactyl of the Demon World, along with stuff like Dog Skull Ravenger and Chromanticore. So basically, when we exile these cards, we make our Soul Flare have a ton of keyword abilities, allowing it to swing in for the win very quick, very effective, and uh, super janky, which is why we're playing this deck in the first place. So the things we're upgrading from the budget deck is we're just doing a better land base and a better sideboard. We are putting in a bunch of fetch lands and a bunch of dual lands, which cost money, which weren't involved in the budget version of this deck. Also, I'm putting in a single collective brutality in the main board because I feel like another way of discarding cards and getting rid of stuff in our opponent's hand is very handy. And then, as I said, sideboard is being upgraded with a bunch of things like Thoughtseize and Inquisitions, which were outside of the budget on the original build of this deck. Without further ado, let's actually get over to the first match of the League where I try not to get my butt kicked. Time to activate my don't suck a meter. Here we go playing um, game number one. Um, this seems like a pretty cool opening hand. I think we're gonna keep it. We're also on the play, by the way. We're not on the draw. Oh, no, we're on the draw. We're not on the play. Get too confused all the time, it seems like. Uh, finish your five remaining friendly modern league matches before. Yes. So I have two days to finish all my matches. Not a problem. Uh, because I'm gonna try and get them all done tonight slash tomorrow morning slash tomorrow afternoon. We're playing against, um, guessing Panza. It depends what we see, depends what we're gonna play against. Uh, not playing against... That's interesting, no turn one play. I'm okay with that. I am 100% okay with that. I think... I think, I think, I think... We... Blooming Marsh traverse into a... Yeah, I think we're going to go this way. Uh, do we traverse? Yeah, we traverse because we have two of these guys in hand. And I'd rather swap this for a actual land. That's what I like to do. I like to do that right now. And I think we're going to grab the... Because we got to get any basic land, right? Uh, and I think we're just going to grab probably just a swamp. Realistically, we do need a mountain at some point. But I think if we grab a swamp now, then we are in a golden situation. Um, this also fakes out our opponent completely what we're playing, um, because it looks like we are playing uh, The Rock, not some janky, <laughs> janky soul player awesomeness. So, yes. So, let's see what he does. Opponent. Opponent plays a ghost quarter, aiming to blow up our stuff at a moment's notice. Instead, our opponent goes for... Goes for pays two mana to do something or other. Apparently, my thing is crashing. Oh, we're playing Dredge! Ooh. Uh, Dredge is an okay matchup for us. It's an okay matchup for us. Not an amazing matchup for us, but it is okay. Uh, we definitely have stuff on the sideboard to deal with Dredge, which is nice. Which is very nice. And our opponent got, like, the world's best Dredge here. Narcomoeba into three prized amalgams. Ouch. And he's playing a little bit something a little bit different. He's playing the horn, which you don't really see that much. The the shriek horn, 
Uh, basically trying to facilitate dredge a little bit better. It's kind of an old tech. Old tech. Um, yes. Can actually just ship to our turn and stop wasting my precious time. Uh, huh, huh, huh. What do I do here? We could verdict into something, or I could just swamp into a Sylvan Caryatid. I think that's what we do. Oh, no, I misplayed that. I misplayed that. I misplayed so hard. Oh, my God. I thought I turned on the Don't Suck a Meter. I was supposed to play Loleth Troll. Lothleth Troll. Um, and then pitch Zetapala and Sylvan Caryatid, and then eat them with this guy, and then him being all awesome and crazy. Shucks. Uh, we should be able to weather one turn. We should be able to weather one turn. That was really bad, though. Really bad. Like, that's... That's such an epic level of badness right there. That's like standard Adrian gameplay badness right there. So, uh, yeah, well, welcome to Giant Monster Games. The place where I make really bad choices when I'm playing Magic the Gathering, apparently. Anyways, stop lingering on the past. What is dead is dead. Uh, we will move forward. Uh, with our opponents swinging to our face for nine damage, ten damage. Uh, fun. Um, we could single block here. The thing is, we can still Lolith Lothith troll and play this guy. He doesn't get haste though. That's the only thing. He doesn't have life link either, which is actually what we need most. We go for a turn. We play for a turn. Give me one turn, my friend. Let's see what happens. Yes. Going to our turn. I think we can come out of this. I think we can come out of this. If we draw uh, into something that gets us lifelink, then we're in a really good spot. If we don't, less good. If we don't, it's less good. More cathartic reunion opponent. Opponent doesn't have us yet. I think we have two more turns, and if, again, if we can get Soul Flare into play, and if we can also, um, if we can, on top of that, get a creature that has lifelink, we don't. We get a Blood Grip instead. Fun times. Okay, well, uh, it's going to be Lothless, Lothless Troll. going to be, I think we go like this. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. At least he's gonna get nice and big. To the upside, so we should be able to block more things. Uh, and then we go like this. We sacrifice it, putting us down by one life, which is not the funnest thing in the world. Not the end of the world. I'm grabbing a swamp. Full. Using this guy's ability to pitch the Sylvan Caryatid. And also the Zetapala. Now, I could pitch the other Soul Flayer. I don't really want to in case I draw into something else that's relevant. Play the Soul Flayer. Ah. It doesn't have haste, but it does have indestructible, hexproof, double strike flying, and blah blah blah. All of the fun things. And then we go to our opponent's turn. Now, we could, as a trick, on our opponent's turn, if he decides he's going to swing it with everything again, we can actually s pitch the Soul Flare block with the Lothlith Troll. It is a possibility. There's no point in pitching it yet, because if we draw into something good, we can always pitch that down the road to this guy. And then have another fun Soul Flare. See what our opponent wants to do. We're at nine. He has a Confligate in the graveyard, and he has six cards in hand. So he has six damage. He has enough damage on board to kill us. <laughs> Dead for me. Um, would have been better if I went the other way around. What would have it looked, looked like? What would it have looked like? Um, well, I would have played this guy for more. I don't think it would have looked any different. I don't think it would have actually made a difference. Would not have made an actual difference. So again, six cards. He doesn't have this second black mana source. Mind you, you can always ghost quarter blow up. So I think, so I think this is gonna be this way. Pitching this, getting this guy a little bit bigger. 
And, ah, uh, you know what I should have done? When I, when I messed up, I should have actually scooped so he didn't know what we were doing. Just thinking now, that's what I probably should have done. I've saved a little bit of tech for, against our opponent. I didn't do that. Oops, I don't want to regenerate. I want to go to blocks. Yeah. Hindsight. Hindsight, I should have, uh, I should have actually scooped it and then waited. And we died a conflagate, by the way. Opponent's got us. It's all good. It's all good. If this guy had a lifelink, it would have been a whole different story. But he doesn't. So, three, four, five, six damage. Opponent needs to pitch three cards. Bam, we are out of the game. And plus, especially when he plays an Arid Mesa. It's all good. It's all good. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry. Don't worry. We're not out yet. Dredge is not... Dredge is a 50-50 deck against us. But I think we actually are better matched against it currently. Currently. Yes. Mm. Tell me about your dredgingness. Dredge. And our opponent has to see it. He has to see it. If he doesn't, I'm going to have my mind blowing. There we go. There's one red mana. Here's your second red mana. There's your Confligate. Pitch three cards. Bam, bam, bam. Our face goes boom. Bam, bam, bam. Face goes boom. Bam, bam, bam. Face goes boom. Concede. Go to game two. By that, I mean go to sideboard. Whew. So, I mean, in truth, um, even if I would have not... If I would have done it in the reverse order, it still wouldn't have made any difference. So, first things first, Nile Spellbomb 100% comes in. Thought Seizes... I'm kind of tempted to bring in Thought Seizes and Inquisitions. Uh, I'm also really tempted to bring in Abrupt Decays, even though they just destroy permanence. I think we go like this and we try and grab the engine cards of his hand. The things we take out in place of this, uh, we will take out um, a Collective Brutality? Maybe? Mm. Yeah. I don't think Collective Brutality helps us enough here. Same with Gortan Rampager. Not quite good enough in this exact matchup. Um, Bombat Courier. Well, you have Haste and you are an artifact. You are actually a little bit slow in this matchup. And what else do I want to pull out? Traverse has to stay in. Silver Carriad has to stay in. Salvage stays in. Um, if anything, I take out a Phoenix, but a Phoenix can be... Yeah, I think we take out a single Phoenix. The Phoenix is nice, and it can be a chump blocker if we need it to, but it also has to attack every single turn. So it can't be the chump blocker we need or deserve. It just uh, it just doesn't do anything. So, yes, we're going to play first. And which means that if we win this match, Dredge goes first next time, which is not the funnest thing in the world for us. And we will keep this. It is pretty good. So it's going to be... What? Overgrown Tomb, I think? Paying through life, yes. Into the Courier, for one. Swinging for one damage. Turn two is going to be probably Grisly Salvage. Oops, cancel. Not blowing that guy up. <laughs> That's not what I want to do. Uh, as much as throwing my entire hand in the graveyard would be fun, not really what I want to do right now. Okay. So, turn two is going to be Grisly Salvage. And turn three is probably going to be Soul Flare, depending on what we see. And then we'll be swinging with a Soul Flare, which is very fun. Which is very, very fun. There's a Gemstone Mine. Producing the mana he needs. Um, it would have been also nice to have a Inquisition or a uh, Thoughtseize in our hand, but we don't have either of them. So, things like Faithless Looting happen. Faithless Looting is like the worst of the cards, I guess. Yeah, it's one of the worst cards. Especially when he's throwing away life alones. Ooh. Sexy time for our opponent. Our turn. Another Ogo and Tomb. Um, I guess we can throw in a Blood Crypt. Do I throw in the Blood Crypt? Hmm. Yeah, I think we're gonna do the damage thing. And then we're gonna go Grisly Salvage. The most gristles of savages. See how this pans out for us. Um, so, we are totally going to throw away all the stuff we actually need. <laughs> now Spellbomb, like literally, these three cards we actually want to keep. These ones here are not as convinced on. Hmm. 
I go this, I get trample. That doesn't help me at all. Huh. Well, that was the weakest of weeks I've ever had in my entire life. Can't believe that happened. Can't believe that happened. Well, can't win them all. You hope to win some, but you can't win all of them. So that was, that's, that was rough. Literally, our graveyard destruction slash our engine all gone away. Okay, mm opponent's turn. What do they do? They they dredge one of their life of the loans. They could... I mean, they could play it. I don't think they'd want to ever play it at this point. Um, we're going to also skip through this. We're not going to do anything. Um, I think we're probably going to go Verdant Catacombs, by the way. Verdant Catacombs into a just a swamp. So we stop burning all of our life away. Just some of our life away. And he hasn't had much luck in the dredge world. He did have a Confligate, which is a little bit annoying. And he is going to get a single prize to Malgum, which is nice. Which is nice for him, not very nice for us. Alright, let's see what we draw. Let's see what we draw. Just waiting on our opponent now. See how this pans out. Mm hmm. Bloodgast, because he wants the mountain to fire off as well, I guess. Or wants the. Uh, he played. He fetched the mountain, so he get bloodgast. Very smart playing. Very efficient. Very efficient. I like playing dredge. Not surprising, I guess. <laughs> Uh, pitches a Confligate. Buy some Malgum Triggers. It's the same trigger. Two for one. Okay, well, that's a thing. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Verdict Catacombs. I think I think we just play the Soul Flare, eating a bunch of stuff at our graveyard, pitch the rest of our hand. See what we got under here. I think that's what it's gonna be. Soul Flare, you just even when we do play it, um, it still is a blocker for most of these things, which is relevant at this point. Um, so it's just gonna be like at this. Nothing too crazy. Um, and taking... Yeah. Only leaving two card types in our graveyard. Not the end of the world. Not the greatest thing in the world either. Go to combat. Swing with a Bombat Courier. I know it's called Bombat Courier, by the way. Just so you guys... I'm just literally just saying the names that I thought they were, and I'm now reading them how I thought they were really originally supposed to be. If he does block here, we sack it. If he doesn't block, we probably sack it anyways as well. <laughs> we let it do its damage, and then we sack it. So no blocks by our opponent? Okay. Blow it up. Blow it, it up it. Hey, look at that some things. Uh, we don't have any mana, so yeah, it's a thing. Going to our opponent's turn. Now, here's the big thing. If we draw into... Um, we have a bunch of options to draw into at this point um, that are really going to accelerate our game plan. <laughs> um, the first one's going to be, if we don't draw another Soul Flare, then we're in a pretty good spot. If we draw into a... Um, Words. We draw in two words. Uh, words are always nice. Uh, uh, traverse the Alvinwood, uh, then we can also play that. So if we play Traverse, traverse the Alvinwood, we actually go get, grab a, a Soul Flare, play Soul Flare. Life is grand. Uh, if we don't, we don't have um, we don't have Life Link in here yet, which is always frustrating. Life Link is like one of the things that like you really want to be getting on your uh, Soul Flare. The big thing right now for us is he. This guy's here, so we can chump block. Likely this guy. Likely prize amalgam. So, ooh, ooh, interesting. 
he lets the soul flare go to graveyard. So I guess that's gonna be what four, five, six, seven damage. That's a short, short leash we're on. That's for sure. Um, and he can start accelerating his game plan a lot faster now. Let's find out. See how this goes. We need lifelink. Obviously, we're not doing anything here. What do we draw? Inquisition is really not what we want. Okay. Well, let's let's see what we get with Faithless Looting. That's fun. Uh, well, this guy goes away. Um, Inquisition goes away. We could Faithless Looting again. If we Faithless Looting again, we have to... We take two damage. Um, yes, because we'll have to keep the Soul Flayer at that point. I think we do it. I think we do it. So we go like this. We Faithless Looting again, pitching the other two things. Fingers crossed we get something that's lifelink. No, we don't get anything that's lifelink. Not the end of the world. Well, there is our black black. Uh, we want hexproof. We want indestructible awesomeness. We want haste. And I th think we can just eat a tramp. Do we have trample or anything else? Yes, trample. Uh, sure, we'll just eat the... Eat a land. <laughs> Whatever. Doesn't matter at this point. Um, okay. So, he doesn't have a confluence in his graveyard. He doesn't have cards in his hand yet either, so... I'm not sure if we're... Who has a shorter leash? Him or us? About to find out. Because we have double strike flying... All the, all the, all the goodies. So if he doesn't have a way of dealing with our guy in this, if he doesn't wave, well, one, he has to kill us this turn. If he doesn't kill us this turn, he has to stop our soul flare next turn. So that's a thing. <laughs> that is a thing. That's what I'm doing right now. Come on, come on. We're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. I, oh, I keep forgetting to do this. This makes me super happy. It's like, this is what happiness looks like to me. I keep forgetting to do it every time I play the Soul Flare. Um, yeah. So, I, mean, I should have done it like a couple times now, but I, I've forgotten. I have forgotten. Our opponent is thinking really hard. One card in hand. Can he attack in? If he doesn't attack in, what happens? If he does attack in, what happens? If we had a lifelink on this guy, it would be a ooh, completely different story. Um, by the way, so, I mean, I put in Inquisitions and Thoughtseize, um, because they are, if I manage to draw them into the first turn, which I only have four of them, so it's not as likely, but if I draw into them turn one or turn two, um, I can almost, I can more reliably um, get rid of stuff out of his hand that is engine cards. Um, so that's stuff like Cathartic Reunion, which is if you get it on turn two, if we're on the play. Okay, um, and turn one would be like Faithless Looting. So he does decide to attack all in. Okay, well, that's fine. I think we block block here. Block the most amount of damage. Because he doesn't have... I don't... Again, I don't see... Oh, I do see a Conflagate. But he has one. One card in hand. And not enough mana to get more cards. So this is three. We go to four. The most he can do is another one damage to us right now. The most. Which I don't see how he doesn't not die. He's paying costs for what though? He is playing Life of the Loam. Okay. But he doesn't have the red red mana to play this thing. He has a single red mana. So still not not dying. Um, I think we just go to combat, swing with this guy. I don't see why not. I don't see why not. That should be 8 damage. Unless I'm doing my math wrong. It is 8 damage. Fantastic. <laughs> okay. Thought our opponent was, was playing us for the fool there for a second. Uh, I 
don't, I don't think we change anything. I think we literally run it back the way it is. Um, Spellbomb would have been fantastic. Bomat Courier. Bomat Courier was actually pretty rad in this matchup. In this this one here. Uh, I think these are still fine. Um, we don't really need the Hexproof, so we don't need those guys. And you put in Sylvan Karyadi because it's technically Mana Ramp if you want. Actually, I think we're going to take out a single Karyadi and put in another Bomat Courier. Yes. I think that is what we do. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. Okay. Opponent is playing first, which is a little bit scary. This is a pretty solid opening hand. Or is it? Is this a solid opening hand? What am I actually putting in the graveyard? At this point, not a whole lot. It does have a bunch of lands. It does get me going faster. And I think we have to mulligan it, though. It doesn't actually have any gas. Uh, this is better. I think this is actually quite nice. Overgrown Tomb, you can go to the bottom. Go to the bottom. We have enough other stuff. I don't need you. Do not need you. We're also on the draw, so I don't really want the extra land. So, Faithless Looting. Not really what we want to have happen, but it is a thing. We are gonna we are gonna play Blooming Marsh and then into a Thoughtseize and Thoughtseize our opponent. So ooh, ouch. Ooh, ow, ooh, ha, whew, ha. That's that's a bad. That's bad. That's you'd never want to see someone having to pitch double Nakamibas. That's I mean, I thought I thought we were had a bad bad game at one point. That's really bad for our opponent. Well let's see if we can't put our opponent off his game. Remember that time I thought sees you? Thought sees. Show me your brain, and I will steal your thoughts. Yes, please. Okay, so he has yet another Faithless Looting, and a Tormenting Voice, and a Narco Bebo. Wow, this is a really bad hand. Why did he not mulligan this? Wow, well, Tormenting Voice goes away. Like, 100% chance not stay in your hand. Faithless Looting is not amazing either, um, because he gets to draw cards and then discard cards, so it's... You know, it's okay for him, um, but it's not the end of the world for us. Uh, something we're going to be aiming to do is get this guy activated sooner rather than later. We have one. We can actually get three fast. So there's the Faithless Looting we were expecting. Yes. And we're just going to skip through. Opponent's turn. I don't have anything to do. I have nothing to do. Oh, Dredge. Oh, Dredge indeed. So, again, still didn't draw into any dredgers. Hmm. That's a thing. That's a thing indeed. Well, let's go like this. Cracking this guy for a blood crypt, because I would like to have red mana. Yes, we're going to pay the two life. Um, we will then play the Lothaleth Troll. Yes. And yes, and do I do anything else? I think that's it. I'm doing this way, by the way. The reason why I'm doing this um, is because I want to pitch both of these guys to Lothless Troll, fetch up this guy, and then get a hasty Hexproof um, Soul Flare next turn. So then he will have to double block just to stop it. Um, and at this point, he's lost most of his Narcomoeba, so he doesn't have a whole lot of s options. So, yeah. So, basically, it will be something that he's just not going to be able to, to deal with very easily. Ouch, Areno. And then we'll be swinging with two things, to be honest. We'll actually swing with this guy. So, our opponent just had a bad dredge. He's losing to himself right now, which is really unfortunate. So, yes. Yeah, so, it's going to be discard a creature card. Going to be... Uh, do I do Bomat Courier? I think so. I think it's just Bomat Courier. Yes. Oh no. Oh yeah, I have a forest right here. Um, so, we go like this. Traverse, paying the green. We have four types cards. We have Delirium, which makes Traverse amazing. And we're going to grab the Soul Player. And then we use this guy again, pitching yet another card. 
And do I also pitch the other Lothlith? I think we do. I think we just pitch this guy as well. Because um, this guy is now outside of uh, chump block range. Yum. Mmm. Tastes like orange juice. Tastes like... Oh, and another one card. Uh, land, I guess? Why not? Oh, I could have got one of these. Uh, sorceries. I have double sorceries. Would have been better. Didn't do it. Too late now. And attack with all. That puts our opponent on a shorter stick. For a short at least, I mean. And turn three. Nice turn three. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine damage turn three. Seems pretty fun. Oh, opponent saying GG. Opponent is scooping it up. Is he actually scooping up? Is he just fake scooping up? GG. Opponent lost to his own dredges, which is the downside of dredge. Um, oh, uh, opponent. Opponent said one. He said he meant to skip through his turn. Um, oh, he's, he's going to keep playing it out. He's not He's not giving up yet, but he did say GG. Uh, I guess he feels like there is no out at this point. Uh, because he doesn't... There's no real good way for him dealing with these guys, I guess. I'm, I'm figuring. I figure... So yeah, turn three, pretty pretty strong, pretty strong indeed. I feel like uh, my, I would say I don't know if the thought sees really won us the game, but it definitely slowed our opponent down. Oh, our opponent's gonna play the Stinkly Dimp. Ooh, <laughs> interesting. Okay. Um, well, I mean our opponent, well, it means we're not technically done yet. Um. Opponent said GG, but he's not actually scooping it up yet. Uh, attack with all creatures. I think we still win no matter what. No matter how he blocks, next turn... I think we still deal enough damage, no matter what. So we have to deal two damage, which means still lower four our opponent's face. This guy dies, by the way. And we hold on to the Blood Crypt at this point. So if he does bring this back, if we draw into another creature, we win. Whew! Ooh. Things are getting heavy in here. Oh, he finally dredged a Narcomoeba. Dredged a Narcomoeba. Oh, why did our opponent say GG if he's not actually GG? <laughs> no! No! We'll see what happens. Because um, we could draw into other stuff here as well. We have other things we can draw into. We're not we're not done yet. Not done yet. Cause Stink Weedimp actually has to deal damage in order to kill the creature. Hmm. Ooh. That's weird. Why wouldn't he play the Stink Weedimp? Oh, because he, he still could. He just had to play land. Ah, gotcha. Which brings back this guy. Ooh. Oh, things are things are advancing in ways I'm not not too comfortable with, to be quite honest here. Not too comfortable with. Because he, he, he needs to play the Stinkly Dimp again. Um, because it has Death Touch, essentially. Yes. Huh. Faithless Looting. Let's see how this pans out. Hmm. So I still attack in. I think I still have enough. I'm like 90% sure I still have enough. Uh, because even if he blocks here and here, we still do two damage through. And we can cheat this guy out as well to do an extra one damage. He needs actually, he need to have actually killed this guy. <laughs> Craziness. So it's still two damage to our opponent's face, so there's enough for him to die. Um, sure, yeah, yeah, there you go. Um, yes. Oh, okay. You have to drag the order, that's kind of a new thing. Uh, well, let's discard a creature. Discarding this guy, getting plus one, guaranteeing our opponent is at minus one for the rest of this game. Okay, well, that has been, uh, <laughs> whew, me playing against Dredge with the Soul Flare combo. It's super, super duper janky, crazy awesome, makes me feel amazing deep down inside. Until next time, you guys have been watching Giant Monster Games. My name is Adrian, uh, thanks for watching, and don't forget to game!
like a giant monster. Thanks for watching the videos here on Giant Monster Games. If you want to support the channel directly, we now have a Patreon page which you can go and become part of the broader Giant Monster Games community. Additionally, if you want to see some other awesome videos, you can click right here or right here.